Good morning, family. How are you doing on today? Such a beautiful day that our Father has graced us with. And I want to say Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. For truly, we could not make it without the fathers because the fathers are protectors. They are leaders. They are guiders. And we just thank the Lord today for gracing us with our fathers and for those of you fathers that are not here or that you never knew your father you have the greater father so i just want to tell abba father this morning happy father's day father thank you for a beautiful day that you have graced us with such the gift of life on today because somebody didn't make it on today family so let's just go before the father right now thanking him for all the wonderful things that he have done for us, all the wonderful things that he's going to do through us, and knowing still yet that the best is truly what? Yet to come. So we're just going to magnify the Lord. Come on, magnify the Lord with me. Father, we just thank you this morning. Father, first off, we want to repent of any sins, knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God. We ask God that you search our hearts, try our thoughts, making sure that they are aligned with your word, your will, and your way, Father. Father, we just love you this morning, Father. We just come in to acknowledge you, not even to ask for anything, but to thank you for all that you have done. All your tender mercies, all your tender graces, Father, that you have so graciously provided us that you are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord thy God, our provider. We thank you that you are our healer, Lord God. We thank you this morning, God. We thank you for giving your only begotten son that whosoever believed in him would not perish, but that we would have everlasting life, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the ones that you have given a miracle to, Lord God. When the doctor said, Lord God, that they wouldn't make it, when the doctor said, Lord God, that they only had X amount of months to live, Lord, we thank you for they are still here to grace the land, God. Even for those, Lord God, that have gone on to glory, Lord God, that have partaken of this life, but you have saw fit to bring them up there with you, Father. We just thank you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that we're clothed in our right mind. We thank you, Lord, that you have caused peace to be still in our lives. We thank you, Lord, God, that you have delivered us. We thank you, Lord, that you have set us free. Father, we just want to thank you, God. We just want to take this time to thank you, God for giving us a life and having it more abund abundantly, Lord God. Thanking you that we have a job to go to, Lord God. Thanking you that, God, that you saw fit to grace us. I just can't thank you enough for allowing us to see another day, God. I thank you, Lord, for your word, for your instructions, your leading, your guiding, giving us the Holy Spirit, our comforter. That's here to comfort us, Father. We thank you that you've even given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. And that nothing by no means shall hurt us. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We can't thank you enough for the grace you've given, for the mercy you've shown. So, Father, we just thank you, Lord, because we know that your thoughts are not our thoughts. We know that your ways are not our ways, but we thank you because you said, Lord God, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous will avail it much. So we thank you, Lord, for giving a, a lending ear, Lord God, to our cry, Lord God, for causing our tears to be bottled up, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that you pay attention to our smallest need and our urgent cry. We just thank you this morning, God. I just can't say.
say thank you enough, God. And Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for allowing me the opportunity to decrease as you increase. Where my ability is, yours will kick in. I thank you this morning, God. Whereby I can cry, Abba, Father. I thank you so much, God. Oh, Lord, I love you, Lord. I magnify you. I exalt you because you are the king of glory. You are the king of kings. You are matchless, Lord God, in everything, God. There is none like you. There's none besides you. There's none before you, Father. You are the loving God. God, you say if we being, I. Uh, you know, parents and fathers knowing how to give good gifts unto our children. How much more would you, the Heavenly Father, being good, give us, God? So we just thank you, Lord. The greater gift is life this morning. The greater gift is waking up this morning. The greater gift is walking in our purpose, being obedient to what it is that you tell us to do, Father. We recognize and we realize that you are the great I am. You are Jehovah. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are. We love you, Lord. We magnify you. We bow down before you, God. Oh, we just thank you, God for insight like never before. We thank you for discernment like never before. We thank you that the things that are about to hit this earth, you're preparing us. Let us take heed, God, because some things are about to take place that will change the trajectory of the nations, God. And I bind the enemy this morning. I thank you, God, that you have given me power over the enemy. I bind the enemy and all of his attacks to him to stop a block. The chosen ones, the very elect, the children of God. We diminish your power this morning. Satan, you are defeated for right now in the name of Jesus. And we lose the love, the mercy, and the peace of God to rest, root, reign, and abide like never before. Because we are the righteousness of Christ. We are the head and not the tail. And we are above only and not beneath. So family, and we just giving God the glory this morning. We thanking him for the story that he's already written. And we thank you, Lord God, today. So we seal this prayer with the precious blood of your son, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Good morning, family. As I said, I would like to say Happy Father's Day to all of the magnificent fathers and even the mothers that have taken the place of the fathers, that you had to be mother and father. And I thank you, God for you this morning because today is truly a great day. You know, a father signifies protection. A father signifies provider. A father signifies a lover, a covering, a friend. Yes, he does. But we have the greater father. I thank God for our earthly fathers, but we have the greater father. And if you don't know the greater father, then you have to get to know the greater father this morning. Because he's waiting on you this morning. And fathers out there, you can't uh, make this journey without the heavenly father. So you need him to lead you. You need him to guide you. You need him to instruct you. So let's let the Father do what it is that he do best. Lead God and direct and instruct. So family, I just wanted to stop by really quickly and tell you that we have the ultimate Father and we should thank him today. We should say Happy Father's Day, Father. Because if it wasn't for God, what would we be, fam? If it wasn't for God, where would we be? So I want you all to have an amazing, amazing day. And if the Lord allows, I will be back today um, as he leaves because he's been giving me some things. But I want to leave you with this. I have not seen. Ears have not heard. The things that God has prepared for those 
that love you. Do you love him today, family? Because you know what? He is the greater one. He, live, he should be living on the inside of us. He should be our leader. I want to urge you, do not make a decision without consulting the Father this morning. Because remember, he's our leader. He's our guider. He will guide us into all truth. And the truth will set you free, right? So I just got by very quickly, very briefly on this beautiful and immensely beautiful day just to wish my father, the, um, the father's happy Father's Day. And my dad as well. I love you much, family. Have a safe and happy, happy Father's Day. For you know what? The best is what? Yet to come. Have a great day today.